what is the biggest difference between coaching in college and coaching in the NFL? Do you think that this is just a completely different ball game, or do you think that there's something that they just learn here and then can bring there and it's easy? Well, I think especially because there's carryover. There's carryover from what you learn here, and so you get better at time management. You get better at taking care of your body. You get better at studying, you know, when you go to the next level because you have to because the the people that you're competing against, they're grown men. You know, they have families, they have kids, and they can pay millions of dollars. And they're not just gonna hand it to some young kid who's gonna come in here and be all hot shot. Uh, you're gonna have to take it if you want it. If you wanna be a part of that elite club, you're gonna have to put your best out there every single play. And, and those things will help you through life. Mm -hmm. So start now, and it's not gonna be a shocker to you later because everybody else, you know, they take it like and treat it like it's a business. You know, it's not just a game, it's a business. Well, in regards to your coaching career, Coach Hunley, you coached for how many years at the collegiate level before you went to the NFL? Oh, before I went to the NFL? Mm -hmm. I think uh, two, seven, eight. Wow, eight yeah. years total. Yeah. Do you remember that transition going from the college level to oh, the league? I started league? out as a grad assistant yeah. at uh, USC, yeah. and I went seven years uh, at Missouri as a D-line coach, a linebacker coach, and then one year at Florida as a D-line coach, uh, one year with the Washington Redskins as a D-line coach, then the linebacker coach with the Cincinnati Bengals for six years, then a defensive coordinator, linebacker coach, a defensive coordinator, D-line coach in the UFL, uh, then uh, outside linebacker coach at Oakland Raiders, and um, two years as a D-line coach at the University of Memphis, and uh, now here. And now here, yeah. that's, that's quite home. the ride. Yeah, 39 years to get back home. 39 years to get back home. Yeah. What was it like getting that call that maybe notion to you that you would be coming back home? Yeah. Well, uh, I was very fortunate to, to coach at the University of Florida and a young man that happened to be one of my GAs at the time was Coach Fish, Jed Fish, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and uh, that's another lesson, be nice to your GAs. You never know where they're gonna end up. <laughs> Seriously, they might be the one hiring you, yes, like yes, this situation. Yeah. yeah, I think about another guy who just got a job. He was one of the, um, the quality control guys on our defense, no, on the offense in the UFL, um, Mike McDaniel for the Miami oh, Dolphins. Yes. And so you know, these young guys, yeah, you never know where they're gonna end up, so be nice to them. Wow. They may hire you like I got hired. Worked out. <laughs> That's it. You were nice to him apparently, yeah. huh? Yeah. He remembered that. Well, and to bring someone like you who means so much to this community and to this school, that was probably an awesome thing for him. It was a win-win too, right? It was win-win. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And how was your last year back being in Tucson? I know you've done a lot of stuff with alumni. I know you do a lot of events with the University of Arizona. I'm sure they're so excited to have you here. It's awesome. It's awesome to be back home and be around people who remember you from back in the day. But I think more importantly, it's awesome to be around these young men to help develop them and grow and, and help them to get to the next level if that's their goal. Well, and that's been the coolest thing for me. The most eye-opening is that being inside the building, you don't understand how hard these guys are working, how hard you guys are working. The hours yeah. that you put in as coaches at this level is incredible. But to see the amount of work that these players are putting in, even after a 1-11 season, is is really cool. It's really admirable. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, it's amazing to see how these guys work because it, one in eleven is no indication on how much improvement this team made from from, from one year to the next. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen on the field this year. No, me too. Well, let's talk about Tucson a little bit since we're out here on the roof. Before we wrap mm -hmm. this up, I mean, you spent a lot of time in Tucson a few decades ago. It's probably changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us some of your favorite spots in Tucson, though? Well, most most of the favorite spots now are eating spots. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, when you get my age, it's always a, a good restaurant, you know. We love Italian food up there, Vivacci's. You know, we love the Mexican food at Guadalajara and El Charro's, you know. We, we love the favorite, uh, you know, burger spot and watch the ball games at Bob Dobbs. Bob Dobbs. So, you know, it's it, because the people you meet there, they're the same people that were here when you were in college. You know, some professors, some teachers, some students, uh, some teammates. You, you never know who you're going to see when you walk in. Which is so special. I've heard so many people say that once you come to Tucson, you really never leave. There's always a part of you that's here. And when you get the chance to come back, it's always so special because it is a really cool place. It's yeah. something you're really unique about it. Well, it. I think it becomes more special when you've lived in a place like Los Angeles. And, yeah. you know, every time you go out the door, it's 45 minutes to the store and back, you know. And, and uh, so, you know, 
time is precious when you're coaching and so now you have time to actually enjoy mm -hmm. parts of the city when you come back. Mm -hmm. And what were you doing in Los Angeles before this? Because you had a pretty cool gig in Los Angeles. I used to work for uh, Outfront Media. Uh, it was a billboard company, a, a media company, and we sold billboards and, and out-of-home advertising. In fact, a uh, famous Arizona alum used to own that company before he sold it and bought the Angels and Artie Moreno. <laughs> Just a casual name there. Just yeah. bought the Angels. Yeah. You know, a new hobby. And I think we have a, bill bar, a billboard up in L.A. right now. There's four. With 20 Tucson, right? 20 Tucson. Yeah. 20 Tucson. It's pretty cool. I know we've seen a couple people tag us on Twitter saying that they were driving down the 405. And there's 20 Tucson of the University of Arizona over go. one of the big, biggest and busiest highways in California, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You know, they love us everywhere. They love us everywhere, <laughs> exactly. I think that for good reason. Well, thank you, Coach Hunley. This You're is welcome. special. We appreciate you taking some time out to chat with us. Thank you. Thanks. Bear down. Bear down. All right, baby.